Good morning, everyone. Welcome back on this new episode here of Jack Travels. So I just woke up in my room here. We will be going to do some community service at this uh, soup kitchen in Cuenca. And then after that, we will go to the Aguas Thermales, which is like 20 minutes from Cuenca. Alright guys, we are now on the taxi and we're gonna head to the Cuenca Soup Kitchen. So the Cuenca Soup Kitchen here is gonna be located in Chimborazo, which is 10 minutes away from our hotel. And there's all, they also have uh, meters in the taxis right here. Alright guys, so we just came here and there's like really like no signs. So my taxi driver is also like helping me. Is there a key? Okay, in the uh, izquierda? Sí, sí, en esta izquierda. Okay, sí, mucho gusto. Cuídese. Sí, gracias. Hey guys, we just came to this area called Calle Chimborazo and this is the location of the Cuenca Soup Kitchen and it's right next to like this big like football stadium up here. Sorry, what's your name? Oh, I'm Ken. Jack, nice Jack, to meet you. Nice Are you also Jack. a volunteer? Yeah, what I do is I just fill in the gaps. Like today is okay. inventory day. Yeah, I So heard. we got all these big bags of rice and product that, that have to get sorted and oh, you wow. know put into containers so that the volunteers that show up tomorrow yeah. can package all the food uh, up. Back here is where we keep all of our dry goods. This is our rice room. Um, we have a set of gentlemen that comes in on every other Thursday mm -hmm. and bag rice. And these are the bags we use. Think it's so, the kitchen, oh. yes. Oh, so these both organizations are working together for partnership? Right. Mm -hmm. 3000 to $3,500 a month on food, sometimes oh. closer to four. So is that money from like donations? Yes, yes, correct? yes. We have multiple donors. We have uh, uh, repeat donors that every month they give us however much money. And then we do fundraisers. Uh, we just had one fundraiser this weekend uh, to raise money to buy school supplies for children. Thank well, the Hearts of Gold is, is this building. They allow us to use their space. We used to operate an actual soup kitchen mm -hmm. where we would serve about 200 people a day at lunch. But then when COVID hit in March of 2020, the government told us we couldn't operate. We had to shut down because we couldn't have have that many people in one space right. and then we weren't able to open it back up so we just mm -hmm. continued doing this kind of thing i see we have the salt sugar we have bars of soap as well we have um what is this? i'm not sure what this is but we also have beans lentils everything here and then the bags of rice inside here so today we are just going to be stocking up and restocking all these bins so that tomorrow people can come, volunteers can come and do packaging. And then on Friday, they would give out the food in bags for the families in need. All right guys, so once we package the rice, we put it in this box and then look how much all the rice here. Stacking in here. And then we're also going in here. We put in the rice in box up here. We're gonna stack all this up. So after the rice, we're gonna do all the dry goods as well. Let's go. All right guys, so something that I also learned are these diapers. The Cuenca Soup Kitchen bought these diapers so that they can give out to families and mothers with kids or families with kids and they're reusable. But this blue part, it's made out of bamboo. The inside is made out of um, sugar cane. You can put this part into the diaper inside here and then you can also wash these. And it's so cool, this company is called Gelware. They, they use their donation money in a fundraiser to buy these to give out to families if you would like to help the the families that come to the Quenca soup kitchen you can go to the website uh quenkasoupkitchen.org and you can donate on that website you can be a one-time donor or a repeating donor every 25 dollars helps to augment a family's food supply for two weeks and it's a tremendous help to all of these families so please consider that thank you thank you all right guys so we are here now this place is called piedra de agua 
And once you're in Cuenca, you have to visit this place. So I'm gonna show you guys around. The, the cheapest one is $35. It includes a spa. Um, it includes everything here. <laughs> For here. One thing I do want to mention is that when you guys come here, you guys have to do a reservation. So make sure that there are times that are available if you do want to go to different pools or the cave. Okay. Gracias. So this is the robe they gave me. So the $35 include the pools outside, the main ones, and also a steam room in there. And then there's gonna be like a tour with like um, like a mud bath and like a spa thing that we're gonna go through there. My locker is here. If you don't have a lock here, they will use this plastic band and tie your locker up. There's a couple pools here. There's one over there. There's this one that's like medium temperature. This one that's like really hot. That one that's really cold. Feels so good guys. After like a day of lifting and volunteering for a couple hours, I think my body deserves a reward. ¿Qué de grado? Estoy midiendo ahora. 42. 42. Uh, 42. There's a restaurant here. See, so they have different types of clue here. Hola, un clue? Yeah. Gears. You can definitely get a little bit expensive here. The main dishes goes from like 13, 14 dollars to 19 dollars for main dishes. The ceviche, the shrimp ceviche, also with I think plantains and roasted corn. And this is my main dish right here. You got chicken breasts with um, carrots, asparagus, potatoes, and some mushroom on top. So that's the meal here. It's pretty, it's pretty good. And uh, quite a little bit pricey, but after this, I'm gonna go do the mud spa and I'm gonna show you guys um, what it's like inside there. The first one therapy is an exfoliation with the red volcanic mud in uh -huh. order to clean and eliminate the impurities of the skin, mm -hmm. like acne, for example. So you will stay here around 15 minutes. So the first stage of this is coming into the volcanic mud. She gave me the actual volcanic mud right here. You guys can see. And I'm gonna put this in water for five seconds. The water here is not too hot, it's warm. So once I get that, I'm gonna start to apply this mud. Whoa. Look at that. Look. I just rubbed it and then you can rub it on your face. That's like a solid form. It's like this. And then it, once you mush it down like this, it becomes all. Oh. And this is a exfoliant. So I've been here for like 10 minutes now and your face gets like really hard. And it's really hard to move your face too and talk. All right guys, so I just washed all of the red mud off my body and now we are in the blue mud therapy. So she gave me this. This is the blue mud therapy. You put it in water for five seconds. Let it dissolve a little bit like this and then you take it like this. You mush it together and then you'll have to put it on your body but once you put it on your body you have to tap it in this blue mud because the blue mud here has gold and it also has quartz so this is kind of sharp so it'll scratch your face if you rub it so that's what you do And the mud itself has so many pebbles and quartz. It's, yeah, this is even more like rocky 
than the red mud. So you gotta tap it in your body. So yeah guys, this is the blue mud therapy. I'm gonna get going and rub everything here on my face and my body. So the next one is the underground contrast pools. All right guys, so after the blue mud therapy, your skin feels so smooth. Now we're gonna go to the contrast pools. So the contrast pools is basically one pool that is hot and one pool that is very cold. The idea of this is to shock your body and to increase circulation. We are now in the extremely hot water, right here. That's awesome. You know, if you guys do get a chance to come here, definitely come. It's really beautiful. You can see all like the rock formation right here. It's like a, it's like a pool in a cave. It's very cool. And they have like these LED lights out there too. And also candles lit on these stairs. So now that we went into the hot one, we're gonna go into the cold one. So let's go. All right guys, this is the cold pool. Oh! I'm in the cold water now. Oh, it is extremely cold, you guys. So the idea of this, you know, you go from the hot water into the cold water for one minute and then go back to the hot water. It kind of shocks your body and also increases blood, blood circulation. <sighs> yeah, my body's kind of numb now. I don't really feel that much. <laughs> Did you finish the therapy in the yeah. cold water? Yeah. Nice. Hot, cold, hot. Perfect. Yes, oh. and just with your head out. Oh. So here, please. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Wow, we're just sitting inside. Yes, please okay. take a seat on the plank. If you turn it's in like this like aroma box. If you turn it out, it's hot. If you turn uh, it inside, it's a steam. You can regulate. It's like a steam. it's like a steam box here, guys. With this, if you want it hot, go this way. If you want it cold, cool, cooler, go this way. Okay. Oh, here. Yes, please. Put your <laughs> Excuse me. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Ah. That's All right, okay. guys. So this is the what is this called? And the steam bath steam into bath. the boxes. All right, guys. We are in this like steam box. The idea of this box is to get rid of the toxins and allow you to sweat. And it's really it's an interesting concept, but with your head sticking out like this, it's kind of terrifying. <laughs> I can smell the eucalyptus. It smells like mint, it smells like roses, it smells like vanilla, and I'm gonna turn on the steam. So let me know if you can hear it. One, two, three. You hear that? That's the steam of the steam box. Oh, it's really hot. So after this, that concludes our day here in the Piedra de Agua. I am a little bit exhausted. This experience has been remarkable. Uh, my body feels so light, it feels so smooth, I feel like I'm so young and if you guys do have time in Cuenca, you guys have to come here. <laughs> come on guys, <laughs> Great. uno, dos, tres, bienvenidos a Ecuador!